the 906 Pro a scan tool for you? Come on, you pe so I picked this scan tool up a few months ago and it's been my daily driver ever since I bought it. Uh, I also have a snap-on scan tool and a launch and this is by far like the most capable tool that I have as far as a scan tool goes in my toolbox. It has bi-directional controls, minor coding and programming. It has TPMS, this is the TS version, so TPMS is built in. You can get a scope module for this tool. You have to buy it separately and you can use this as a scope. You can also use it as a boroscope um, with a camera, another separate module that you can buy. This has all the latest communication protocols and also supports auto off. So it'll talk to all Stellantis vehicles. Pre and post scan reports are quite nice. The full reports that this tool creates when you scan the car for faults is really nice. It's easy to basically just take a picture with your phone, it uploads it to the cloud, and you can send it to your digital inspection or you can send it to the customer directly. It doesn't have a pass-through tool for it just has a simple dongle, which is quite nice, honestly, because 90% of the stuff you need to scan, you don't need a pass-through, you don't need a giant box. You just plug it in the dash and you don't have a cable hanging, you don't have a box on the driver floor when you drive the car and read data. Live data on this is awesome. You can usually graph up to four things. It's very quick, very responsive. I haven't had any issues with the graphing data. data. The one thing that I do hate is every time you go to scan live data on a car, you always, for some reason, I don't know if it's just my tool, but I always have to switch it from metric to imperial or imperial to metric. I just wish it would automatically calibrate to whatever the car specifies. As far as the TPMS side of it, the TPMS tool works great. I use it all the time for tire rotates on GM vehicles where you have to relearn where all the sensors are. You basically plug the dongle into the car, it reads the VIN, you tell it that you're just doing a tire rotate, and then it basically just instruct, instructs you to do whatever it wants you to do. As far as coding TPMS sensors, programmed to the car, also straightforward. You plug the tool, the dongle in. The tool knows what it's doing. It, it makes it nice and simple. And that's one thing I really do enjoy about this tool is it just saves so much time. And also you have two tools built in one. You have TPMS tool and a diagnostic scan tool. Do I use the TPMS tool that much? No, very rarely. Um, but if you were a tire shop, maybe you'd probably use the TPMS side a lot more and you'd have the capability of diagnostics. As far as updates go, the updates are very quick and easy. Um, I think for this tool, it's 750 bucks a year to update it every year. So once you pay for a year of updates, you basically have from, you have a whole year of constant updates. So this tool gets new updates almost daily. Also too, this tool has ADOS functionality or capability, so if you do do a lot of ADOS or you have a business structure around ADOS, or even if you're just a windshield company and you're just looking to have a tool that's capable of doing dynamic or static calibrations of front view cameras, this tool will get it done. You do have to pay for an extra package or extra software update on the tool in order to access the ADOS. There's ways to work around that. So if you have All Data or Mitchell, typically the manufacturer has to supply All Data or Mitchell with the, the measurements or the procedure on how to calibrate it. So if you don't want to use the tool to tell you where to set targets or how long to drive or whatever, you can use All Data and then you just basically access the car like you normally do through diagnostics and you can do the calibration that way and then you don't have to pay for the ADOS package. You will have to have a service information subscription to All Data or something similar in order to get the information to do the calibration correctly. As far as the tool goes, it's super small, super sleek. Um, it's way smaller than the older 906 that they previously had. It's not long enough to tip it on a comfortable angle so it, it's always at like this weird angle when you set it on your toolbox to read I wish it would be more like this and the other issue is when you go to hang it on a steering wheel depending on the steering wheel if the airbag module isn't you know touching this this thing flops like that on the steering wheel and it, it drives me crazy but it's it's something that I guess you just have to deal with I'm sure they you could probably make an attachment that basically loops into here maybe put a band here or something so it grabs and catches so that it doesn't want to dangle so far forward. But that's a, a minor complaint, nothing, not really a big deal. As far as comparing it to my other tools that I have, I use this tool quite a bit. It's really good for Porsches and it's the Top Don Phoenix Pro. Or this is the, this is the Top Don Phoenix. So I got this on a deal um, 
The one thing about this tool is it works great on like Porsches. For some reason, it, it does active tests, bi-directional functions, a lot of lot more live data. Altel for some reason doesn't work very well for Porsche, and I don't know why. That is one downside of this tool. BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, most of the European cars this thing will support, but Porsche for some reason it does not work well. So that's why I have this tool. But you can see, so like this one has a little case for the dongle, which is nice. Um, the screen isn't massive but it's nice for like when you're driving and you need to like drive and hold the tool and read at the same time just walking around the shop it's nice to have this handle and it's also ha nice to have this in there because this will just get lost with this tool you set it down somewhere or you leave it in the car and you know it's a problem so this is the other tool that I use probably this is the second choice that I go for when I need a scan tool if this one's not working and then I also have my snap-on scanner so I also have this tool which I really only use for older domestic vehicles um, and it also has a two-channel scope on it so I use it for scoping a lot and graphing like a multi a graphing multimeter I use it for that often as well and just for like a low amp clamp or a high amp clamp for say amp draws or relative compression. But this tool, I wish I never bought this tool. I think I paid seven grand for this and it's not even nearly as capable as the Altel and I paid, well, I bought it used so I paid like a thousand bucks for it I think. If you wanna buy like an entry level mid grade scan tool that does you know 90% of the functions that you'll ever need, like you don't even want this just buy this and I think you can even get top down has a newer version of this scan tool that is like five to eight hundred bucks which is a steal there's some issues with top down right now like for instance it's a it's I don't know if it's a stolen software from launch but it's definitely a reskinned launch product and right now I'll tell or yeah Right now, Launch basically told AutoAuth that they Top Down can't have access to AutoAuth right now because it's it's a stolen software. So I don't know exactly where that's at right now. That might have changed, but as of right now, if you do buy a Top Down, from my knowledge, it will not work on AutoAuth. But Altel has no issues working on auto off and I use this all the time on Chrysler vehicles it works flawlessly as soon as you log into your stuff it saves everything and then as soon as you plug it in the car it asks if you want to log into the security gateway you say yes and then it just gets into the car as far as the size comparison goes like there's the dongle and then here is get out of this here's the top down pro and then there's the dongle for that. So this tool doesn't support all the latest protocols, so it doesn't support CanFD or anything like that. This one does. All the latest protocols, this one, this tool supports. As far as the thickness goes, like this one, I think I turned on the flash on accident. Even if, if you need a light, it even has a flash. But as far as the size comparison goes, like this thing is super slim. It's not going anywhere. Um, it's not very big. And then, then you have the big old outdated piece of junk tool, which is this. Which I don't even know if it's charged. As far as a relative size comparison, so there's a normal size beer. As far as the thickness goes, that's the thickness. As far as the I.O. goes, it does have a HDMI out, which is nice. You can hook it up to a external monitor, even a touchscreen monitor, and it works. It has a USB port for plugging it directly into the VCIM. And then it has basically a mini USB or USB-B. I don't remember the type of USB this is, but this is how you can transfer files, do updates to the computer if you wanted to, and then obviously your charger. You have your diagnostics, your TPMS, uh, basic service functions. So if you want to quickly reset an oil light, um, it has your ADOS tab. 
VCI is just how you connect to it. Obviously, your data manager is where you're going to have all your cloud reports. So these are all the reports. You can send these where they pull up like this. Or if you just want to basically, or if you just want to send it via the cloud, you can scan that QR code. And that QR code basically sends you directly to a link with that report in it and then you can do what you want with it. So it also has a, a battery tester, external battery tester that you can buy. It has remote desktop. Also another awesome thing about this tool is that it, it has a feature where you can basically, if you have a buddy in another shop that has an Altel and he's having an issue trying to figure out how to activate something or read live data, or he needs you to read live data because he has a question, you can literally log into his tool with this tool and his screen is your screen. You can do whatever you want with it. You can navigate his tool. You can diag a car from another state, and I've done it before with my buddy. So it also has, obviously, your, your camera, your boroscope, and then it has a maxi scope, which is a which is oscilloscope, and I, I haven't tested the boroscope or the maxi scope, but I've seen reviews, and apparently they work very well. I just have no need for them. I have a boroscope and a oscilloscope on my Snap-on scanner, so I don't need to buy the tools. As far as connecting it to a car, it's great. As soon as you plug this into the car, it connects to the tablet and then basically reads the VIN on the car, pops up asking if you want to communicate to this car, you hit OK. It pulls up all the information and then you can basically get into it and do an auto scan or go into modules or service functions, whatever this tool has ability to do on that specific car, it just sends you straight to it. As far as a full system scan on this, these tools are very fast. It's way faster than the old 906s, um, especially on the modern stuff that has the high-speed CAN bus. These, like on BMWs, it takes maybe 15 seconds to scan the entire car with this tool. And that's what I work on majority of the time is Euro cars, BMW, Volkswagen, Audi, um, and Mini. And this tool works great for all of them. It does basic adaptions, basic settings, you can do calibrations, um, it has guided fault finding, guided functions, so it works great for European cars. So if you're looking for a tool that'll be a good all around scan tool for a European car, it would definitely be this. If I had to buy this again or recommend anybody buy this tool, I definitely would. It's a great scan tool for the money, your borderline, you know, I think with the the TPMS in it, I believe it's, I could be wrong, but I think it's around 1800 bucks. Um, without the TPMS tool, I think it's around 12 to 13 at the time of this recording. I'll double check and I'll put screenshots up. Is it as good as a 919 or a Ultra? No, it doesn't have the scope, it doesn't have the programming capability, and it doesn't have the versatility or the bigger size of the other scan tools, but it does 90% of what the big scan tools do. The other 10% is for those specialty shops or those techs that go in headfirst on everything and they never send any work out. But for everyday use, for being efficient and scanning codes, reading data, and doing basic calibrations and adaptions on cars, this tool is really all you need. I highly recommend this tool. I would recommend it over a Top Don. I had the Top Don Elite and that tool was dog water. I hated that tool. It didn't work. It didn't talk to half the cars, half the functions that it should be able to do. It just froze up on. I ended up selling that tool and buying this tool because it's just a way better product. So if you're on the fence about buying a Top Don Elite or you know Altel 906, I would go Altel all day long. Altel is way better. Yes, they're more expensive, but you're going to be getting way better software, more reliability, and more functionality with Altel than you will with Topdon. On top of the fact that Topdon doesn't have access to AutoAuth at this moment. So that's all I got. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or want to know any specifics on the tool, and I'd be happy to answer. All right. Thanks. Bye.